What is going on guys, Jesse here. So I just recently-ish moved into a new house and overall I love it. But one of the things that I didn't anticipate being as much of a problem as it is, is just how quickly the floors get dirty. And while I really like to have a clean house, I just don't have the time to be sweeping and mopping every single day. So when Yidi reached out and said they wanted me to check out their new two-in-one robot vacuum and mop, I was really excited to check it out. So so this is by no means the only two-in-one robot vacuum and mop on the market, but what I think really sets this one apart from everything else is the price point. At $700 with sales going on pretty often, it's very reasonably priced. But the question with these kinds of deals is always, what are you giving up to reach that price point? And in this case, the answer is honestly not that much. So as far as performance goes, we've got 4300 pascals of suction power with dual edge brushes to really get into those corners. Now this Pascal rating is a little bit lower than the ratings that you'd find on some other vacuums on the market right now, but to be totally honest, for all the floors that I have in my house, I found it to be more than enough. On the mopping side, we've got a mopping pad that vibrates at 2500 times per minute to really scrub out any messes that you might have on the ground. What's really nice about this though is that it has an 8mm automatic mop lift, so if you have a lot of mixed flooring in your house, like a lot of carpets mixed in with a lot of hardwoods, then it'll automatically lift the mop pad once it reaches a carpet so that it doesn't get it wet. We've also got a one liter reservoir on here in what they're calling their UFO water tank. And it's actually also very easy and convenient to take off and fill up because of this handle that they have on the top. And the whole process is one handleable, which I really appreciate. And as far as capacity goes, I found that the one liter was more than enough for my roughly 1500 square foot first floor that I have this on. And I actually really like the handle because if you have two floors like I do, you can just pick up the whole robot with one hand and bring it up to a different floor. So now you don't need two different robots for the two different floors. And obviously I know you could just pick it up with two hands if it didn't have this handle, but I think it is a really nice addition because I think removing any kind of friction to the whole cleaning process, which is pretty unpleasant in general and why so many people don't do it is a good thing. So yeah, great for if you have multiple floors, but also if you want it to clean a specific area area immediately, it's really easy to just pick it up again with one hand and bring it over to that area. I know a lot of other vacuum cleaners do have a feature where you can kind of send it to a specific room and this does have that as well, but this just makes it more convenient to move it over a lot faster. The other thing I really like about the Yidi Cube is the charging base, mostly because it allows the whole cleaning process to be pretty hands off. Like all you have to do is refill the reservoir on the robot, empty out the dirty water in the base, and that's pretty much it. The dry dustbin will also automatically empty itself into the charging base and you only have to replace the bag pretty much every 60 days. The charging station also has a built-in cleaning station for the mopping pad, which I thought was really great. Like it has these little scrubbers on the bottom of the base that will scrub out any of the nasty stuff still left on the mopping pad. And once it's done washing, it'll even blow dry it with 104 degree hot air to make sure that no mildew or mold starts building up on it. It's also compatible with all the major voice assistants and it has an app that goes with it that lets you control what rooms it can go to as well as giving you some maintenance info like how all the components are doing and when they need to be replaced. Okay, so now we're in the app and I thought it'd be cool to just kind of uh, let you guys see what it's gonna be like to uh, control the, the robot. So here is the home page of the app and as you can see, I've got the cube paired up to the app and my phone. And if you have other smart devices from ED, these will also show up in this app and all you have to do is add the robot and it'll take you through the steps and it's very easy. So to control this robot, we're just gonna click enter smart cleaning. And now we're greeted with the kind of a control center for the robot. And at the top, you can kind of see the status of uh, what the robot's doing. So I just finished cleaning a little while ago and it's drying right now currently. So you can see that in the corner over here, it's at 99% charge. And below that, you're gonna see three kind of headers to show you what status the robot is gonna be in the next time it cleans. So it's in vacuum and mop right now with the quiet mode for the dry uh, vacuuming 
and the high water mode for the mopping. And below that, you've got the entire map of the area that it's going to be cleaning. And as you can see, I've got it divided into three different rooms here. But when it does the mapping run, it's not going to do these automatically. You're going to have to set them. So to do that, you just click this arrow right here in the bottom right. And then you can place these uh, room mergers so you can merge two rooms together or uh, room dividers, which obviously, you know, you can place uh, a wall here and move around uh, the, the wall to your liking. And it'll just, it'll, it's really easy. You just need to place them in the right areas. And then you can also label the rooms. You can see I've got dining room, kitchen, and living room, but you can change those to whatever you want in this menu over here. And the last thing in here are virtual zones. So you can set areas that you don't want it to go clean at all. And you can add areas that you don't want it to mop either. So that's really nice. And to get this map you're just gonna have to do a mapping run where it'll run in vacuum only mode for a, a full run where it'll just give you this outline of where everything is. And I gotta say that after the mapping is done, the navigation is really impressive. Like if it runs out of battery in the middle of a run, it'll just go back to the base all on its own and recharge itself and continue from right where it left off. And I gotta say this part is a little bit better than other vacuums I've tried. Like other vacuums will have this feature where it'll go back to the charging base to recharge itself and then continue the job. But this one is just a lot more efficient. Like it makes a very efficient path to the charging station and then once it's done charging it'll make a very efficient path back to where it needs to vacuum again and the same thing goes with the mopping pad as well like if it detects that the mopping pad is getting a little bit too dirty during the run it'll just go back to the charging base get washed up and then just continue back right where it left off one thing to note though is that it does work the best if you have some sort of light for it to work with or just have it run during the day okay now moving on to the bottom in the middle we've got a play and pause button so you're just going to press this when you want it to start a job and on the left here you've got the robot settings so you just click that to change all the settings uh, with the robot so you can have it in auto or spot and under that, you can have it in vacuum and mop mode or just vacuum mode. And this setting is gonna be for the dry vacuum. So you can have quiet, normal, or max. And at max, it does get quite loud. So I just leave it in quiet. And below that, we've got the mopping setting. So you can set it to low, medium, or high. I like to leave it on high, but you can test it out on your floors and see what works the best for you. Now, if you really wanna get into it, there are some advanced settings where you can customize the cleaning of rooms. You can also choose the cleaning sequence so you can choose which room you want it to clean first, second, and third. So that's pretty cool. And you can change the cleaning schedule, carpet detection, do not disturb, and resuming cleaning. So yeah, just a lot of settings here to mess with. And if you really want to, you know, you can mess with that to your heart's content. And lastly, we've got the station settings here. So you just click into that and then you can manually empty it, dry it, or wash it at the time that you want. And you can set it to auto empty itself every time the robot enters the station, which I have that on and you can set drying time and preferred washing time so yeah, pretty much every setting that you would realistically need for this robot and overall just really happy with the functionality of this app. So yeah, I think if you're looking for a great two-in-one solution for your vacuum and mopping, then this is a great option to have at a very reasonable price point. I know I'm really excited to have it cleaning in my house so I don't have to, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.